Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Sorry I was absent this past week but I was sick and sorry if my voice sounds weird because I'm still a bit sick but I will manage. Uh, today I will be unboxing and making this makeup look using concrete mineral products. I have used their eyeshadows in the past and recently they have reached out to me if I wanted to do some makeup look with their products. So I have chosen some eyeshadows. I will be swatching all of them. However, I obviously I will not be using all of them, but you will see how each every one of them looks and they have also offered me a discount code for you guys to use and it's Auridire 10 and it will give you 10% off your order. Just let me talk about the product they have sent me. First of all, I have chosen two of these Concrete Minerals mm, mineral eyeshadows. They are more or less matte, but with some kind of nice metallic sheen, but it's not too overpowering. It's just really subtle and really nice. First one is this beautiful golden yellowish color and it is called Calavera. And second is this beautiful swampy green and it is called Living Dead. Next I have chosen their Pro Matte Eyeshadow in shade Disturbia, which is classic brown eyeshadow. I'm using tons of these, I'm using this every day I put on my makeup, so I just couldn't pass dark brown eyeshadow. Next I believe it is a new addition to their collection and it's multi-chrome eyeshadow in shade Playground Twist and it's this beautiful yellowish green and it shifts colors, it's super vibrant and yeah, it's just, it's really awesome. I couldn't pass this just because how beautiful this is. It's, it's just a wonderful product and I kind of wish I got also another shade because I really, really love it. And then I noticed they also have lip balms, so I got this tinted lip balm in shade gold plated and it just gives a slight metallic golden sheen and yeah, I was afraid it will be a little too overpowering, but it's actually really subtle and really pretty and completely wearable on daily basis. And in the end they have sent me a sample of their Pro Matte Eyeshadow in shade Hi-Fi. Are you supposed to read it like it? And it's this electric pink shade. Just to point out, their cosmetics is vegan and cruelty free and as I mentioned, I have already used their eyeshadows in the past. I actually have quite a collection. They have really beautiful black. It's really dark, vibrant black. Their eyeshadows are buildable. And despite the eyeshadows being like a loose pigments, they don't actually have fallout. You will see in a clip where I'm doing this makeup look that they basically have no fallout, which is really awesome considering they are just 
powder. You can also mix them with setting spray, for example, for easier manipulation. Once I have done like veins under my eyes and I have used their red eyeshadow and their purple eyeshadow, I have mixed them and mixed it with setting spray and it kind of created like a face paint and it was really good way to use them. And now without further talking, let's get to this makeup look making. I always like to wear brown on my eyes, so first I'm going to start with shade Disturbia and I will be applying it to my crease. Rather than using small brush, I like to squint the normal fluffy brush like this. Alright, and I think I'm going to go for brown and gold look. I have green eyeshadows, but I don't want to use all the colors at once. So I think I will go for gold and brown look and save some greenish look for the next time. So next shade I will be using is Calavera. And I like to use a trick when it comes to concrete mineral eyeshadows, especially uh, these with the black lid because they are like kind of shimmery but not overpowering and what I like to do is that I like to take my setting spray and spray my brush a little and use it like that since the eyeshadows are loose pigment it's much easier to manipulate and yeah overall they set much better on the eyelid. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take uh, the brown brush again and I'm just going to like, smoothen the transaction just without any excess eyeshadow, just run it over a bit. Now I have also got this shimmery lip balm because I just I just found it interesting and I wonder if it can be used as um, a highlighter so I think I'm gonna try it. I, I'm just gonna try it. Okay, it definitely works as highlighter, however, it's not like that overpowering. I usually like to do much more visible highlights. I also like to put highlights in the inner corner, so let's use it for that as well. Okay, since it's minty, it wasn't the best idea. It isn't the worst, but I wouldn't recommend. It didn't occur to me. But, I mean, it looks nice. However, my eyes feel minty. Since it's lip balm, I'm going to put some on my lips as well. It actually looks really nice on lips as well. Okay, I really had to remove it from my inner corners because it just felt so wrong. So don't put it near eyes, it's minty. It should have occurred to me, it didn't. So yeah, my bad. Uh, but I have replaced it with some random golden eyeshadow I already had, uh, but just in my inner corners. I have let my cheek and nose highlights and also my lips covered with this balm. Okay, and now I'm going to do my eyeliner and eyelashes. All right, and this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Have a nice day.